Hey everybody, good morning, good day, whatever it is for you. I want to tell you I'm here in front of 7-Eleven. Stop by to get my natto and my tofu for my snack. Yeah, the healthy living that I try to do. Anyway, I want to tell you what's going on in my household last, uh, last night and this morning. I always go to bed early. My, you know, I've got a wife and a daughter, if you're familiar with my family, Emily and Yumiko. And I always go to bed early, so I went to bed, you know, you know, 9, nine o'clock last night. I stayed up late. And when I woke up this morning, I was shocked. I always get, I'm always the first one up. I was shocked to see my daughter uh, and my wife were still, were, were awake. I thought they got up early. And my daughter was in her room. She had just papers scattered everywhere. My wife was sitting there, bleary eyed. Turns out they never went to bed. They've been up all night. Now today, now why? Today is my daughter's very first day at her brand new uh, school. She's a junior high school student. Today's her first, she's a Chuichi, um, you know, the middle level first grader. And her, today's her very first day. She had opening ceremonies yesterday. Something we don't have in the States that I don't remember. I was talking to Molly about this this morning. Opening ceremony in the States, there was none. You know, you come to first school in the first grade, mom dropped you off at the front of the school and said, get out of the car and go in. You know, that's how you did it. <laughs> Maybe things have changed. But in Japan, it's a big to-do. So yesterday, Emily had her opening day ceremony with my wife. They went in the formal stuff, the photos and all that stuff. You call you know principal speeches. Anyway, today's her first full day of classes in a brand new school that she never attended before. She's a new student, first grader, all this, and she had tons of homework over spring break. They gave her. I mean, th th this is even before she enters the school. Tons of homework. She's been working um, just all through her spring break, just in her spare time. Granted, not enough. She didn't work hard enough, and as a result, she was way behind, and that's why she had to pull an all-nighter, an all-nighter, the day before she even enters the school, to finish homework, and she did finish it. She looked in awful shape this morning, but she was happy, she had dark shadows under her eyes, my wife looked terrible, my wife's going to drive her to the train station instead of Emily riding her bicycle. Um, she did all of her stuff. Emily was delighted, probably mostly just excitement over going to a new school. But, but it's intense. It's an intense level of this, this, the education here. Now, I'm tempted to criticize. Because, I, you know, for me, it doesn't go, this does, doesn't fly with me. I, I, don't, I don't think it should be like this. I, I, you know, and I granted Japan's got a good education system, but I, I think it's too heavily weighted towards the, towards the, the academic end of things and uh, uh, losing out on a lot of the more, uh, more uh, uh, subjective things, elements of life, the experiences of life, uh, in, favor, in favor of rote memorization and uh, just, just, just basically cramming your heads with facts and figures and, re and reality. I'd rather have kids get out and experience more of reality. But that's experiential versus uh, versus informational uh, experience. So that's just my own perspective. So, but I'm 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 here. I'm, I, I participate in this culture. My daughter's a part of it. So I, ha I guess I have a right to say something about it. So it's a little too much for me, but it seems to work. Anyway, intense, intense Japanese culture, and this is going to be the way it's going to be for her as long as, until we leave Japan, and, and if we stay in all the way through college. Uh, intense J Japan. J uh, university lets up a little bit, but especially through junior high school, high school and high school, intense. She's going to be at school. I was rode my bicycle downtown last night just for exercise, and there were girls from her school. School hasn't even started yet. Girls from her school in the school uniforms at 7 o'clock in the evening walking home. There's not even school. They were like at school doing something. I don't know. It's going to be my daughter's life. I'm not necessarily criticizing, but I am a little bit. It's intense, but it's the world I live in. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of this type of intense education system? Now i got to go and do my intense education system as an educator, although I'm a pretty easygoing guy in the classroom. I can be pretty tight if you're not, if you're not listening, but otherwise, you know, let's have fun and learn. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Woo! Good luck, Emily.